Hi everyone, Don Singletary. Today we're gonna to talk about how you can trade like a casino and everybody knows who wins in the casino. It's the house, the casino itself. Like these people are oblivious. They have no idea what time it is. There are no windows, no clocks on the wall. They get free drinks, free food, and maybe a hotel room. And the longer they stay there, the more money the casino makes. Well, how do they do that? That's what we're gonna talk about today, how you can learn to trade like a professional. Arguably, the stock market is the biggest legal gambling casino in the world. Bad news is 85 to 90% of people that day trade or try to swing trade stocks or stock indices wind up losing money in the first year. They don't last, and that's because they don't know how to trade like the casino, like a professional, how to keep the odds going in their favor, and how to plan for some losing trades along the way and manage your money. Yes, I just said that. Manage your money, also known as keeping the probability in your favor so you don't become a loser like one of these guys. Here's how it works. Well, you go and you buy yourself a stock for $20. You say, oh, that's good. I really believe in this stock. I did my research. I'm a smart guy and a good trader. And then what happens is the stock goes down a dollar, two dollars, three dollars, four dollars. You say, oh, this is not good. I'm going to lose some money here, but I hope it'll turn around. Surely it'll get better. Yes, it will. Finally, you lose a lot of money on it. You take a big loss. Well, that's bad. And then you buy a $20 stock. Next time, it goes up to $22. You say, hey, I know what happened last time. I'm going to take this profit, put it in my pocket right now. Jeez, I'm a smart guy. And that is how you lose your money. And the psychologists have a word for that. They have a word for everything, don't they? They call it the disposition effect. It's when you let your losses run too long and you take your profits too quickly. And I'm going to show you how to fix that. Now let's talk about how you can trade with the same odds in your favor that the casino does. 18 red, 18 black, 2 green. A total of 38. The casino winning odds are 53% because 20 out of 38 times they're going to win. And the gambler's only going to win 47% of the time. So how does that look when the gambler stays at the table over 100 trades or so of $100 a bet? The uh, casino wins 5300 they lose 4700 so naturally the difference between those two is their profit. They'll win $600 out of every $10,000 that goes across the table. That's 60000 bucks out of every million dollars with only a 53% edge. Now, as a technical trader, we can learn how to achieve a win rate near 60%. It may be 55 or 65. It'll vary a little bit all the time. But by using the resistance and the support levels in repeating patterns, either in sideways channels or ascending or descending channels, we learn to set up a system where we can trade with casino odds because we win more than 50% of our trades. And we know how to stop our losses from accumulating. Now, do you know for certain every time you place a trade if you're going to win or lose? No, and you never will. But you have to keep your win rate up to around 55 and 60%. You can do quite well. But you're going to have runs of uh, streaks of losing trades and streaks of winning trades. But on the averages over time, keeping that win rate up is very important. And even more important is keeping your reward loss ratio at about a two to one. That is for every dollar you risk or you're willing to take a loss of a dollar, you want to make two of those dollars. Watch what happens now with a win rate of 60% and a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio. I'm going to bet $10 on each trade. I'm going to risk $10 trying to make 20. So I have a 2 to 1 risk reward ratio. Out of 100 trades over, say, several months' time, I'd have 60 wins, I'd make $1,200. I'd have 40 losses, losing $400 and a net profit of the $1,000 risk of $800, an 80% return in just a few weeks. Not bad. And had my win rate not been up to 60%, and it goes down to, say, 50%, much, much lower, where I'd only win half the trades, I would still risk $1,000 and make five hundred and get a 50% return on my money. And that isn't bad at all. I tell the story in my 
book here about the first futures trade I ever made. It was back in the 1980s, and the S&P 500 contract was trading at $250 a point. Well, I was on a school teacher's salary back in those days, and a couple of points was a week's pay. And in under 60 seconds, I lost an entire week's pay. The moment I placed the trade, I was 500 bucks down, and I couldn't find the mouse on my computer fast enough to get out of the trade. It was over in less than 60 seconds, maybe only 30. I really can't remember, to be honest. But it was a terrifying experience, and I was full of adrenaline. Well, it would be like walking into a casino and never playing blackjack before and putting a $1,000 bet down on the table. You just don't start that high, and there was no way to practice back in the 1980s to trade futures. In fact, it was May of 2019 before these micro e-mini futures came along and made learning to trade futures affordable. Now, once you learn how to trade, you can scale up and make good money, but you got to start small. Now, some of the examples I've been using here were small intentionally, that 10 or $20. This is while you're learning how to trade. You don't want to go making $1,000, $2,000 bets you can't afford to lose until you've got the hang of it. I mean, think about it. It's just common sense. If you're going to trade and day trade these micro e-mini futures, you want to make sure you can do it successfully before you put some real money into it. And that's the whole idea. By the way, the information on my book, if you haven't seen it yet, is uh, listed below this video. The moment I heard about the new micro e-mini futures, I began writing my first book to introduce people to this because the stakes were just too high, frankly, for most people, especially home investors, to be able to give it a try and learn it. I mean, you can't uh, go to the poorhouse while you're trying to get the hang of the game. And uh, there are a lot of things in my book to help the uh, beginners. Uh, I call it the pathway to day trading. A lot of people have different motivations for wanting to trade. I can remember starting off with a young family and I always had to work two or three jobs and uh, always trying to find a way to, to make things a little better for my family. And also, these days, there's a lot of people, you know, my age and even a little younger who are just about to retire or have already retired and they need uh, what the kids call now a side hustle to be able to uh, get some extra money. The neat thing is you can trade these micro e-mini futures on your cell phone or tablet or laptop and you can take it to the beach or go anywhere you want to go where there's a cell signal and internet and you're in business. And uh, it's just as easy to learn it at the beach as it is at home. Now, these micro e-mini futures are a big deal because people, home investors especially, who've always wanted to trade the same uh, uh, big stock indices that uh, hedge fund traders and wealthy investors trade never had a chance to learn it because they just didn't have the money to be able to practice to learn. Well, now instead of... Uh, risking $250 a point, you can get down to the S&P micro e-mini at only $5 a point. Now, what I recommend, and you'll see this in my book, is that you start off with a NASDAQ 100 at only $2 a point. So five points up or down is only $10, and um, it's a very affordable way. The first time ever, a very affordable way to learn to trade futures. Also in the book, how to open a brokerage account, what to look for there, the services that you'll need to make sure that you have. I've got section on uh, the psychology of trading, and I talk quite extensively about uh, money management and being able to keep those losses to a small amount so that your profits can overtake them. Please take a moment to subscribe to this channel, the Micro Day Trading Futures channel on YouTube. And this is the first book on lower risk day trading for home investors, the book that teaches beginners how to do affordable futures trading. It's available on Amazon for less than the price of a piece of pizza, and that's with free prime shipping. This is Don Singletary. I hope every day is a payday for you. Thank you.